What up, people? Leo here from Creative Tech Lab. Today, we are talking about connecting something like this, your Sony camera, to this, your smartphone. Let's get into it. Today is Thursday, so that's right. It's three minute Thursday. I don't actually know if I will keep the limit today. I'm talking about a lot of stuff, but it's still Thursday. This is the tutorial that I wanted to do today, so I'll try and keep the time, but we will see anyway. Welcome to Creative Tech Lab. Big up to the 1500 people that have joined our community so far. Respect every single time. But if it is that you're watching this, you're probably watching this for the first time. So welcome, my name is Leo. Talk a lot about run and gun videography here on the channel. The only thing that I ask of you, if it is your first time, stick around. And then if you like what you see, give it a thumbs up, mash up all the little buttons them down at the bottom because that is how we keep being able to create the useful content that it is that you guys need so anyway controlling your camera specifically your sony camera with your smartphone so why would you want to do it most people obviously want to do it to transfer um, files immediately from the camera to the phone you know you're out you're snapping some pictures you're snapping some videos maybe it is that you're traveling whenever that may be again that we're able to do that safely but you're out you're snapping some snuff but you want to send stuff to ig you want to flex on the gram whatever you want to call it um you want to get stuff immediately to the phone so you would use the sony imaging edge app to connect to the phone and go ahead there and then it would be able to zoom it to the internet and put it wherever it is that you want to put it on your stories your ig instagram straight flexing the other major major key is now that i'm an owner of an a7 III, there is no flip up screen it only goes to there so you can't see yourself when you're recording yourself but if you do connect the phone to the camera you can use it as a monitor now it is a basic basic monitor you get a few exposure settings your iso your shutter speed and such but just for basic composition or just to see where you are if you're in the frame or getting whatever it is that you want to get in frame it's useful for that and then lastly, kind of in line with all those things, you could use it as a remote. So same thing, you're on vacation, you're out with family, you're at your family gathering, whatever it is. And you want to get a group photo with you in it, not just because you're behind the camera, you're not in any pictures, you just want one photo with you in it because every single other picture is just you taking pictures of everybody else. So you gather everybody together, but then who's going to snap it? Yes, you can do a self timer at, I believe, three, five or 10 seconds, or you could just connect the phone again you could look at it in real time get the framing and then snap it up so let me spin this around i will prop this up on some things so we can see it here with the phone and put three minutes up on the clock and let's see how we set this thing up here all right so we have the a7 III here on the left the iphone here on the right in order to connect the camera to the phone there's a couple of different ways to do it let's just run through the main thing here so we're going to hit menu we're going to slide over to this folder right here that says network and we could do send to smartphone function and that would start the process to start sending it over to the phone however i did want to show you guys that if it is that you were in your camera library you could hit the function button that is right here which is set on my camera to initiate the send to the smartphone function. And you see here, you have a couple of options. You could do this image, all images with this date, or select multiple images here. I'm just gonna select this image and it starts the process to start setting up the Wi-Fi. Let me jump into my imaging app here. And you can see here, since I haven't had this camera set up, or at least for the purpose of this video, I don't have it set up. I'm gonna do connect new with a new camera come here and you have a couple of options. You could either do NFC, you could scan QR code, or you could actually just go and connect with a password like you would a regular Wi-Fi network. I am going to do the QR code. It's gonna ask if I give access to the phone there and then we're just gonna scan this right here. Got to back that up a little bit. And then it says, would you like to join this network? And it's thinking there and let it do its thing like it doesn't know that we're on a three minute timer here. See if we can still keep time. It's connecting and then boom, it's doing its thing, it's copying. 
You can see how long it takes to copy just one photo there. Boom, done. Items copied. If I go over to my app there, you can see the picture is there. All right, so now let's talk about the other thing that we said here, which is creating a monitor with your smartphone. So instead of sent a smartphone, we're gonna go here down to the bottom where it says control with smartphone. And you're gonna go here, that's on. I don't keep it always connected, but I do have, you do, you're do. you gonna select connection. It's gonna do the same thing with the Wi-Fi there. Let me jump back into my imaging app there. And this time I don't have to scan anything because the network is already in my preferred list of networks on the app. So I'm just gonna click that there. It asks me if I want to launch and join, I'm gonna do that. It's going to think for a while and then eventually it should come up there. Boom, start remote operation, you say okay. And now what's on my screen there is here. And as I mentioned there, you only have a couple of different options. So you have your shutter speed, your ISO, and you have your buttons here to select your, to start the recording if you want. And then lastly, we spoke about using it as a remote there for taking a photo. So let me just jump into a priority mode real quick. Boom, exposure is set there. And as you could see, um, I do have a couple more exposure settings, but you could see your framing here on the camera and then boom, you hit and you could hear the camera snap and it actually automatically sends that picture over to the smartphone. So again, boom, and it's saving. And that is how you run through the three things that we said in the start of the video in terms of connecting your Sony Alpha camera to a smartphone. Yeah, so that's that. It's really that easy to go ahead and connect your smartphone to their Sony cameras and all the new cameras, it works the same. Previously, if you were used to using this camera, the app was called the Play Memories app. The new app is now called the Imaging Edge app. There are some things that are missing from it like before, like some of the older cameras, you're able to do things like time lapses and stuff like that, I believe. You're not able to do that. These are the main functions you're able to use this for. So big up to everybody that um, watched the video if you're still here watching me. One more thing I do want to note, if it is, and I kind of learned this the hard way, if it is that you are recording 4K video and you are using the smartphone as a monitor, it will disable your face tracking. So just be aware of that. I learned that the hard way and shot an entire video and my face was out of focus. It grabbed an object that was a little bit closer to the camera. So be aware of that. So that's the only drawback that I really see there. As far as other things, if you really want a good monitor, go ahead and get a monitor for your A7 III or whatever it is. If this video helps you out in any way, shape or form, go ahead mash up all the buttons on the bottom, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, bell notifications, all of those things. Not telling you what to do, just asking you nicely. Share it with some of your other Sony users and I will catch you in the next video. A lot of content that I had planned, obviously we're stuck inside right now due to that novel thing that's going around, but we're not going to let us stop that from getting some of the things that we're getting. I will catch you in the next video. Peace.